Yeah, so Junior just comes walking in from work carrying this. I was like, God, damn. Of course I have a dirty mind. <laughs> I was like, okay. How you doing guys? Look what we got. Royal Industries, Grant Division. California. I think California is in the USA, right? Nowadays if it says printed in the USA, chances are what's inside did not come from the USA. And I'll guarantee you that is the date. That sounds about right. 11, 8 of 72. These are rings. For the 360. Now 360s and 343s have the same bore, same pistons. Well, pistons are different. The uh, compression height's different. But it's the same rings. Here's what we got. I opened them up already. You can't accuse me of not being... Uh, not using all the vintage stuff. We got the instructions. In two languages. Okay. Got another thing here. Basically the um, the spacer or the spreader or the spring, whatever you want to call it, on the uh, oil control ring, where the two butt together are two different colors, and they want to make sure that you see that they're two different colors when you're done, that they didn't overlap. Okay, and basically, here's a set of rings in all their glory. You can, you can see this paper is more yellow than that paper to show how old it is. Well, this is the way rings came. There you go, you got your oil, your second, and your uh, top ring. They actually tell you in which order to install them. Here are your two colors. Well, you see the one color if you overlap it. If you put it in correctly and butt them, it's Christmas time. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, so you could easily install it like that. And I'm sure people have. So, these are the rings that will be going in the 360. You can see it's not a square cut ring. I don't know if it will ever focus in on it. There you go. See that little notch cutting it? Usually they'll put a dot or a letter or something to tell you what's the upper side, which these do not, but it does have the groove on it. So that's where you go to, I forgot where I laid the paperwork already. You go to your chart. According to that, the groove is down. Second groove, little notch is down with, on that ring. Let's see what we got on the top ring. Top ring is square on the outside, but it has a bevel. Can you guys make it out? On the inside, see it going from the right to left on the downward angle. And they show you right there. Compression ring, top groove. They show you that with the top. So you gotta put a little notch to the bottom, and you gotta put that to the top. And it's important, because that's the way the rings are designed. The rings don't always lay perfectly flat. The rings do flex back and forth. Back and forth. And they're designed to do a certain job. And... They know a little bit more about... Their operation than I'm ever going to know. I know the basics. I know how to... Let's get this back again. I know how to check their fitment. Um, when I have to check the fitment in the groove of the piston, 
I know how to check their fitment into the bore. If they need to be filed, they claim these are unfileable rings. Um, I know about ring flutter and some of the basic things. They tell you they want a 220 to 280 grit is acceptable, which is exactly what that um, bore horn is that we got. So I just find stuff like this interesting. I find all old crap interesting. Uh, not that this has changed much other than that other than that I know a decent set of rings like this today not by Grant by another manufacturer would well, you will run you well over 130 140 dollars I've already priced them if you want to get cheaper rings they're all Chinese rings um, so I've inspected all the rings all the rings are mint there's no rust on the rings and uh, that's what we're going to put in. Would have been nice if I could have found a set of these for the uh, 401. So, but I couldn't. So with that guys, I wanted to show you I think this is cool. So this is definitely cool. Old and cool. Like I said, that's definitely the date. That makes a lot of sense to me. 11-8 is 72. So... Swanomatic. Something Paper Box Corporation. Standard Paper Box. Well, you guys can see, I'm looking around the viewfinder, and the viewfinder is crystal clear. Me reading it. I guess I need Google for reading now. So, okay, guys. Just wanted to show you guys what was going on. Um, that's about it for today. Worked late. I'm a little tired of shot. So, we'll be back on this thing very shortly. So, I have, uh, like I said, I got, we have the rings, we have the bearings, the crank has been cut. I have a timing chain, I have a cam, I have lifters, we have the intake manifold. Um, we have the front cover done with the oil pump, we have the carburetor, we have headers. We have some kind of ignition system. Not sure what's going on there right now. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? I have the valley pan gasket. I gotta get a. I gotta get a gasket kit. We have to install the cam bearings. I have to put the core plugs in. And um, we'll probably be doing our third set of heads. I keep doing AMC heads, but not putting them on anything. So I got a mint set of heads that are uh, the match to cutworms heads but unported all stock and less than 50,000 miles on them from the factory so I mean I pulled them off to the engine myself because um, I went with something different so we're just going to give them a quick freshen and uh, pop some new seals in there and some springs so and you should do good we should do good with the engine so, with that said, um, that's it, guys.